Welcome back to Mars. We have an exploratory scout mission lined up today to a new area of the map that previously has been unexplored. So to fill you guys in, in case you missed the last episode, we had just repaired our satellite and we had uh, sent new coordinates for it to look at another area of the map. And um, now we have this image from the satellite. And then just in case you missed the end of the last episode, these were the last video recordings that the satellite had transmitted back to our base. So from a distance, it appears to be some type of liquid and potentially even ice on the surface of Mars off in the distance. It is quite the trek away, so we are gonna need some transportation to get over there, uh, but thankfully I have just the vehicle for that. We're gonna be using a brand new uh, research exploration vehicle right outside the garage over here because it's actually too big to fit into the garage. This is by Fimic and it is called the Mobile Research Center. So what's cool is it actually has a stabilizing uh, research module on the back here. It is on its own independent suspension. And so what we can do is we can actually open up this door right here. This actually happens to be an airlock going into the research vessel here. So we can close that door and then the inside door will open. There we go. So yep, that turns on the lights. So this is the mobile research capsule, basically. You can see we got sink, we've got test tubes and things. And oh, this is cool. I didn't actually know that there were clear pipes like that. That makes perfect test tubes. We even got a computer with a fancy keyboard and mouse. Got to have our suspension mug. Um, th this is this is new. <laughs> Not quite sure what this is all about here, but it doesn't appear to be moving or anything. So it's a very realistic looking um, model though. Maybe it's taxidermy, I don't know. Uh, looks like we even have a refrigerator with some interesting interesting artifacts in the refrigerator there. We got our centrifuge, test tubes, more sciencey things, a microscope, of course. Yeah, all kinds of fun stuff, perfectly suited for a mobile research station, um, which is perfect because we're going on a exploration expedition uh, for the purpose of researching the Mars surface. So I know we do have this looming eye that is floating over there, but so far it hasn't seemed to make any more moves since our last move, which was installing these defenses in here. This thing is fortunately, it is taking care of a bunch of asteroids that are potentially uh, harmful to us. But the eye itself so far has not made any hostile movements and um, I don't want to provoke it. So I'm just going to ignore it for now and pretend like it's not even there. <laughs> but all right, let's uh, get in the driver's seat of this thing and hope it's capable of traversing enough of the terrain to get us all the way. It is all the way in that area over there, uh, which I guess would be southwest if the sun is north. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we established in the earlier episode. The sun is the north star. All right, we can just narrowly see it over the mountains over here. So a little bit of that uh, white discoloration for the potential glacier-like things. Uh, and it looks like we've got some caves over here. These are also pretty unexplored. Should we hop out and just take a peek, maybe? Let's go ahead. Let's just go ahead and take a peek. Nothing wrong with getting a little bit distracted on your research expedition, right? Okay. Maybe I probably, probably should have sent a scout in here first like I did with the previous things. You know what? <laughs> the further the further I get down here, just just completely alone on my own, uh, the more I think this is a bad idea. Because we remember what happened in the cave with the eye. There was some actual radiation in there, and uh, without sending a scout drone in first, I just think that's a dumb idea. Let's let's play it a little bit safer than that. But we'll keep that in mind for future research expeditions. Alright, and what do we got over here? Interesting geological formations. A whole cluster of pillar-like rocks. Very interesting. It makes me wonder if there is... Wait, is there something special in the middle? There's like something transforming a little bit in the middle of that. Do you see that? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta... I gotta go get a closer look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Well, this is kind of new, isn't it? Hold on, can I get a better view of what's in there? What? Well, this is new. It appears to be... Oh, there's an entrance. There's an actual entranceway. 
kind of afraid to get into the middle of it in case there's some type of like weird power or something happening. I'm kind of afraid to get into the middle of it in case there's some type of like weird power or something happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was a little bit, get out of here, get out, let's get out of here. That was a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know if that was a malfunction with the spacesuit or if that was something to do with the inside of that, but uh, I don't want to stick around and find out. So let's just, let's get a little bit less distracted on our way to the potential ice formation over here. It's just so, it's, it's, there's just so much interesting stuff over here. It's hard not to get distracted. Looks like we got some archways almost. Really interesting geological formation. I don't know how that forms naturally. Um, oh, is the vehicle gonna be able to handle this? Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Get some grip. Oh no. Oh no, we're so close. We're so close, but we're like bottomed out. Come on. Come on. All right, almost there. Almost there, as soon as those wheels make contact, we're good. We are very, there we go. Okay, thought we were gonna be stuck for a second. All right, here we are. Whoa. Wait a minute, do you see what I'm seeing? There appears to be some type of devices floating on the surface here. All right, let's get a bit of a clue. Whoa, 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 hold on a second here. Here, we've got our research vessel. Um, so up in this part of the research vessel, this is, uh, this is our scout storage. There we go. So I just uh, I just unfolded this from the scout storage over there. So that's where we keep the compacted versions of these things. All right, so this is gonna allow me to get closer to this stuff without risking bodily harm, because this is some type of unknown composition here. It could just be as simple as water, um, but it may be something more dangerous than that. Want to make sure it's non-toxic to uh, whatever our spacesuits can handle. But I also want to see what this stuff is out here on the surface. Look at this. Let me sure not to fall in though. This is weird. I don't know what these things are. I was gonna say they don't appear to be moving, but that one actually has a moving part on it. Almost like a type of ray. Oh, there's a bunch of those ones. Look at them. Okay. This one has like an antenna on it of sorts. Some of them have nothing on it. And then there's this red one in the middle of them all. I wonder if they're all linked to that central red one. But uh, so far they don't seem to be reacting to my presence. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can reach them with anything that I have here, but I might be able to get a water sample. Maybe. Oh no, I'm not close enough to the water. I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to a spot that uh, is closer to the water. This is just too high off the surface here. It looks like I see a spot over there though. Yeah, I think that's gonna be my best bet is right over there. Okay, here we go. This should allow us to get easy access to this water here. All right, let's lower the arm down. Get ready to suck up the sample here. There we go. This is a this is a multi-purpose arm. It works as a drill, but it also works as a um, a liquid sample collector as well. We we're very high tech on Mars. We got a lot of high tech multi-purpose stuff here. Um. All right. I think sample has been appropriately collected. So let's bring it back to the mobile research station for some research. See what this stuff is made out of. All right, so the rover has made it back. So let's go ahead and bring that sample into the lab here for some analysis. All right, the analysis is complete. I'm gonna put the sample right there and I do got some good news. It does appear that this is water. However, it is highly, highly salinated, more than any ocean that we've seen on Earth. So this is gonna be tremendously useful as a potential drinking water source, but we are gonna have to have some type of water treatment facility to desalinate this stuff. Otherwise, it's just gonna be undrinkable before it gets uh, treatment. But now that I know that it's uh, at least non-toxic and not dangerous to go near, uh, let's go ahead and take a walk over here and take a look from the surface. Okay. Here it is. So it's really hard to see underneath the surface here. 
You can see how like murky it is. It's almost like you can see the salt in your face. And oh, look at this. There does appear to be some type of vegetation down there. Kind of like our cave eye thing had some uh, plant life capable of growing inside there. So it seems like, I mean, obviously where there's water, there's usually life. So it makes sense that there would be plant life inside the water here, but I really want to see how deep this goes down. I mean, that's assuming that these things aren't going to try to do anything about that. I don't know if these things are aware of my existence here or not. They don't seem to be responding at all. I think we should return to base and see if we can find ourselves a Mars submersible to take over here. All right, back to base we go. This time, uh, less distractions, all right? Less distractions on the way back. Successful trek back to base. Uh, so now let's see what we have available for submersibles. All right, here we go. This is actually perfect. My floppy fish here, it is called a drone sub. So not only is this a drone submarine, but it's also a carrier, which can move the sub around and drop it off. All right, check this thing out. Look at this little guy. That's so good, because that means I don't actually have to go underwater myself, which is potentially dangerous anyway. I don't know if the duct tape on my, uh, my spacesuit here is going to hold up to the water to be honest oh yeah look at that seat <laughs> look at that uh so it looks like we can lower the sub down oh we can lower the sub down with that button and uh we can release it with the second button which i'm not gonna do yet i'm gonna wait till we actually get back there all right Ooh, this thing is speedy as well this thing is real speedy whoa gotta be careful with this at least it's got some decent suspension on it okay here we are trying to figure out what the best spot to lower the sub in is going to be I need a place that I can get to the edge because there's not a lot. I don't have the ability to extend the sub further forward. So it's pretty much going to drop right in front of where my front wheels are. You know what? Let's try right at the edge of this right here. I think this will work. If I get both my wheels right on the edge like this. Oh, oh, not too much. Not too much. There we go. I think that should work, right? Just going to get this wheel as close as possible. There we go. Okay, let's start lowering this thing down. Nice. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to drop it the rest of the way though. Oh, look at that. Look at how it floats as well. So nice. Now let's go ahead and raise this back up and uh, we're gonna get into the drone control view. Here we go. Here we are. Check this out. This is pretty nice. Looks like I can go down with number one. Go up with number two. I can go around. I'm trying to see if these things are going to respond to me at all. So far, they don't seem to care that I'm even here. I mean, we're kind of like... I'm a similar size as them, too. Here. Are they just going to touch it? Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 Okay, it seems to have calmed down. That was definitely a little weird. Doesn't seem to care anymore, though. It seems like they only respond when I've touched them. But as long as I stop touching them, they stop caring. Here, let's just give it a slight nudge. Look at that. Yeah, as soon as... As soon as I stop doing... As soon as I stop doing anything that makes them move, they don't seem to... They don't seem to be bothered by it. This is why you send a drone in first, too, because if they did care, at least my life isn't on the line. It's just the drone's life. All right, there we go. All right, I am a little bit hesitant with the red one though. Uh, before, before I mess with the red one, let's actually let's actually explore. Let's get underwater and explore down here. Ooh, look at this stuff. This stuff kind of reminds me of uh, earth cucumbers, but these are way bigger. Yeah, these things are way bigger than any cucumber I've seen on Earth. Um, oh, there's some flowers down here too. Look at this. Did we see some flowers like this in the Mars cave? I don't actually remember. I don't know, my mind has been a little bit fuzzy since I went into that rock circle, to be honest. But, uh, it's, it looks like it's not actually that deep here. It's surprising. Oh, there's some smoke coming up in the middle over here as well. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
There actually seems to be... There's some type of, like... This is not plant life. There's some type of artifact down here. Oh, let me... Let me nudge it. That's just, like, my go-to response to anything that seems unnatural. Let's just nudge it. Let's just poke it, see what it does. Looks like we have some weird symbols. These are like displays or something. It's kind of like someone dropped their iPad in the lake. And I just, I just found it at the bottom here. But this is an iPad made for giants or something. Wait a minute. This is an iPad made for giants. That's kind of uncomfortable. I'm just imagining somebody holding this thing like it was a cell phone. Like this thing is huge. Okay, let's see. There's some, there seems to be some underwater vents over here. Kind of similar to the vents that we saw on the surface over by the base. And yeah, there's a lot of these down by the center. It looks like the closer this thing, this hole gets to the uh, the core, the more of these vents there are. But not nearly as interesting as whatever this thing is. I want to I wanna get this thing out of here. Oh, wait a minute. When I look at it from this angle, that looks like an A almost, doesn't it? And this right here... This kind of reminds me of those rock formations that we saw next to the eye after it came out of the ground. There does appear to be some type of interactable switch over here, but unfortunately I can't use the sub to hit the switch. The sub is unable to do those types of things. But if this is what it looks like, it seems like this could be some type of translator to translate the alien symbols into English letters? Which that is kind of concerning because that means whatever uh, whatever alien life forms are here, they know how to read our language. They actually have a device here that can uh, correlate their symbols to our symbols. So they seem to have a bit of an upper hand on us. But if we can retrieve this from the bottom of the lake here, uh, we could turn the tables. We we could have access to the translators because this translator, it looks like it's going to work both ways. But that is going to be the challenge. How do we get this thing out of here? This little tiny sub is not going to do it. And um, I don't think I have anything that is capable of underwater extraction. I only have underwater scouting, underwater exploration. All right, let's, uh, let's go up and see. Is that thing moving? Oh no, it just looked like it was moving relative to my movement. All right, here, let's get up to the surface. Let's see if this red one responds any differently here. Okay, here we go. Whoa. This one has some type of gauge or something. Oh! Um, what just happened? Hold on a second, the drone. The drone is no longer with us. Oh no. Okay, well, that was a very expensive mistake. That thing just exploded out of nowhere. None of the other ones did that. Well, I guess red, uh, I mean, it, it was the only red one. So I guess there was something different about it after all. But you know what? I'm kind of tempted. Here, let me walk around to the side here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a dip. Just get my toes wet, see if anything happens. I mean, this is just salty water, right? So we should. We shouldn't get hurt by it. Okay, here we go. So far, so good. Oh my god! Oh, look at this! Oh, this thing. This stuff is so buoyant. Like, look, here's me trying to swim down below the surface. Ugh, it is so difficult. I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can make it down. Come on, swim down. So I'm down. I don't think I can make it down to the bottom here. I don't have the strength to do that. This water, this is how salty this water is. Oh, whoa, 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 what's this? What is this over here? Did this come from the robot? This looks fancy, doesn't it? Here, let me get my, let me get my hammer out. Oh! It actually went pretty far. All right, but this thing right here, this thing seems interesting. I want to bring this back with us. We're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna uh, put this in our lab or I don't know. We'll put this near our lab. Last time I put something in the lab, it did not turn out well, but uh, we'll observe it. We'll, we'll observe it very cautiously. Here, I'll just attach it to our crane. We may not be coming home with the submersible sub that we brought out here, but at least we're coming home with some alien tech, which I'm sure everyone will be delighted to hear about after the monolith experience. All right, I'll see you guys back at base.
Okay, here we are back at base, and I think I'm just gonna keep it outside out here. I'm just gonna keep it hanging on the crane here, and we're just gonna we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit and see if any if, if see if anything changes. If anything, if nothing changes, maybe I'll feel more comfortable moving it inside the base. But until then, uh, we're keeping it out here. Did you just is something just was there something here? I don't know. Stuff's been out. Whoa, did I swear I just saw something happen right here? Uh, so that's been a little bit weird since I came out of that rock circle. That, I I saw it again. Okay, don't know what that is. Uh, let me just. What? I'm gonna stand right here where that is. Oh, oh, there it is. Look at that. This is part of our sub. What is it doing? What? Oh, this is weird. It just... It just fades into the ground all of a sudden. Okay, once again... I bring an alien artifact back to the base... And... Stuff starts breaking the laws of physics over here. Yeah, I do not know if I trust this thing right now. You know, let's go ahead and uh, let's head back into the main hub and log our findings. All right, so this was a very eventful one. Uh, we went out, we found the water on the surface of Mars, highly salinated. So we're definitely gonna need some type of water extraction and desalination processing plant of sorts that we can put over there. We also found these weird floaty drone things that seem to get a little bit agitated when you hit them and the red ones explode. So if you ever see another red one, don't go near it. Uh, and we found a strange potential language translator at the bottom of the lake that uh, I am highly motivated to try to extract out of there. But we need some type of submersible wa uh, extraction thing that can pick it up out of the water and get it onto the surface and bring it back. Uh, that sounds like it's going to be a bit of a complicated piece of technology, though. So those are definitely things that we need to keep an eye out for. So let me go ahead and just log all that real quick. Perfect. All right, that should do it. And really quick, gotta give credit where credit is due for some of the creations featured in this episode. The mysterious translator at the bottom of the lake is made by Thimic, and the weird floating bot things are also made by Floppy Fish. Huh, I just realized there's a weird coincidence that each of the vehicles was made by Fimic or Floppy Fish, and each of the alien creations was also made by Fimic or Floppy Fish. That was not planned. All right, so looking forward to seeing where this goes in the next episode. I'm definitely gonna be keeping a lookout for uh, these creations that are gonna help us with these future tasks. So if you guys enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.